The DTX Touch app is designed to work with the DTX Pro and DTX Pro X modules, so will work with all the DTX 6, DTX 8, and DTX 10 kits. It is designed to access and edit almost all the features of those modules. It runs on Mac, iOS, and Android. Let's have a closer look at it. Right at the top of the main screen, you can search for a particular style of kit, say something by Yamaha, or something electronic, or more funk-based. The app will show you what is available under those headings, and you can choose a kit simply by touching it. If you know what kit you need, simply scroll down and touch the name to select it. The top left of the screen shows you the four main areas for editing. Kit, Trigger, Mixer, and Details. More of those later. The kit modifiers for whatever kit is active can be changed in real time from the left of the screen. These are always on, so you can instantly change the ambience, compression, and effects of the kit you are playing. To edit the kit, simply press the Edit Kit button at the bottom of the screen, and you can see straight away what is on every single layer of every pad. To select a pad, you can either hit it on the kit, or touch the icon to the left of the screen. You can change its pitch or muffling straight from that page, or you can choose another sound. To choose another sound, simply choose a category, and then you can scroll through all the voices until you find what you need. If you touch the Kit Edit Mixer tab, you can adjust the level, pan, and effect setting for every single pad, as well as the real ambience, post ambience, and effects. To edit the sound further, touch the Individual Pad tab and then the Effect button. This will let you change the EQ, compression, transients, and insert effect for every single pad. You can edit the EQ, compression, and transients either by touching the rotary controls or directly on the screen. To add an insert effect, simply touch it and dial in how much you want. All the trigger setting parameters are available and you can get visual feedback for the changes you make. The Mixer tab on the left of the screen allows you to edit the master and headphone EQ with your finger, as well as change the overall mix of the whole kit. Finally, the Details tab is probably the single most powerful on the whole app. Firstly, you can access the user manual and the data list for both modules, and a reference manual. Next, you can save and load backup data. The Advanced Settings area allows you to see every single parameter available, and you can change them. So if you work better this way, everything you need is on one page, or you can have it on separate pages, depending on how you prefer to work. The Advanced Settings have been divided up into Kit Edit, Trigger, Click, and Utility Settings, and these correspond to the same settings on the module. So that is the DTX Touch app. You can access everything you need. It's very, very quick and easy to use, and it's incredibly powerful.